Hi, uh, this is the CJSR Food Sustainability Documentary by Humdi and Brianne. Okay, so CJSR. Since 1984, CJSR has been a voluntary and community-run radio station funded by Edmonton listeners, broadcasting on FM 88.5 Edmonton in its location at the Students' Union Building on the campus of the University of Alberta, and on CJSR.com around the world. CJSR has delivered a diverse range of content to its listeners, from informative news programs to the latest in independent music from Canada and around the world. CJSR plus the BBC World Service also provides interesting ethnic and specialty programming. So what was your project? We collaborated with Megan Miller, the news coordinator the news coordinator at CJSR to learn the fundamentals of radio storytelling, interviewing, and editing. Then created a story related to food systems and sustainability through research. Then we assembled a radio documentary using the resources of CJSR and conducted interviews on the subject we had chosen. The documentaries we had chosen will then be broadcast and posted online. So the outline of the process of working on our project. Our project started with deciding on a topic for our radio documentary. We had a few different topics to choose from and ultimately decided to go with the topic related to food security and food packaging during the COVID-19 pandemic. Once we had our topic, we had to figure out who we would interview and how to get in touch with them. With our interviewees selected, we had to schedule a Zoom meeting with each individual that we would record and later edit. We also had to attend two three-hour training sessions where Megan would teach us the basics of interviewing, recording, and editing. The actual interviews were pretty straightforward. We had come up with about 10 to 15 questions that related to our topic, which we asked the people we interviewed, and we recorded their answers. So the problem slash issue our project intended to address, uh, since COVID-19, 29% of people have bought more packaged foods, 55% of people are also very concerned with food safety, and 40% of consumers are using new safety measures to avoid the virus. Support for a decrease in plastic has gone down 11 points to 79% from 2019 to 2020 and support for a ban has gone down 12 points to 58%. Are the economic consequences of plastic production worth the damage it causes to the environment? How does the level of plastic used affect food safety and price for consumers? So how did we, how did our project address the problem and issue? So we interviewed Sven Anders, a University of Alberta professor in the Department of Resource Economics and Environmental Sociology, and Maria Fustick, a master's student researching the impact of COVID that COVID-19 has had on the social and solidarity econ economy of food in order to get varying perspectives on the topic. Through these perspectives, our goal was to present the listener with enough information to inspire them to be more conscious of their spending habits and what items they are purchasing. We also hope to encourage people to think about food packaging and how they can make sustainable and safe choices when purchasing food. Through the project, we are enforcing the idea that plastic is a less than ideal way of handling food safety. Although the pandemic has created an understandable paranoia surrounding the notions of sanitation and protection, we must not forget the role we play in sustainability. As consumers, we vote with our wallets, so we must be careful on what we promote and support from big business. So what skills or information did we learn from the project? Through this project, we have learned the importance of creating a script, the use of music for emotional response and voice inflection, and projection when telling a story. 
This, in addition to the research we have done in this plastic wrapping on food, has opened our eyes drastically. It is obvious that mass food production makes up for a huge part of global environmental change. This is why we are in a geological era of Anthropocene. This is why food system, from, grow, from being grown to being eaten, all the faces a food goes through, including packaging, transport, and selling, is an imperative part of our project. We use food systems to narrow our focus on the use of plastic and increase slash decrease of plastic in connection with COVID-19. The understanding of food systems and how they connect with the planetary boundaries we must hold ourselves to. Thank you. Thanks for listening. That's everything. <laughs>